Hi there! In this shootout video, we're going to compare boot up times for Mac OS 10.5.8 Leopard against Mac OS 10.4.11 Tiger and 10.4.11 Tiger on a 30 gigabyte hard drive versus a 30 gigabyte SSD. So we have three iBooks sitting here configured. This is the one that's got a 1.2 gigahertz processor running 10.5.8 Leopard on a 60 gigabyte hard drive. These two are both 1.07 gigahertz iBooks both running identical 10.4.11 Tiger operating systems, one on a 30 gigabyte hard drive, conventional, and another on a 30 gigabyte hard drive, SSD. I'm going to start them sequentially and then I'm going to start my stopwatch on my iPad mini. Here we go. You would think that the 1.2 gigahertz faster processor on the iBook on the far left would give it an advantage. But I think there's some overhead in 10.5.8 Leopard that really causes a disadvantage. The iBook with the SSD is already arriving at its desktop. and has already launched Microsoft Word. We're going to wait for it to get to a main window open on Microsoft Word with a palette window to its right, right there, at about 55 seconds. The iBook 107 with a 30 gigabyte SS uh, hard drive running Tiger has already launched Word. Main window open right about now, then the palette window, 118. The 1 1.2 gigahertz processor has launched Word. Main window open, palette window. Now for those of you who are curious, I know I would be if I was watching this, uh, I'm actually going to launch System Profiler and show you that is in fact 1.2 gigahertz and it is in fact running a 60 gig hard drive. And I'm going to also show you that under System Preferences, even though we do have this running on battery power, its energy saver settings for battery power have it running at highest possible processor speed. Right there. Okay, thanks for watching. It's very clear that the SSD is faster than uh, the hard drive and that 10.4.11 Tiger is actually faster than 10.5.8 Leopard.